right, here we go. Good morning. Here we are back to front, uh, as transparent as I can be. It's, it's no beauty queen, but it's a neat old pickup. All the snaps in the bed. The trim is trim, but it's not particularly nice trim, but it's there. It is a back window. Uh, I always put it in quotes. Toolbox does absolutely not come with it. I'm getting buried in that thing one day. Um, the badge is on this side, but not the other side. Vinyl door cards, pockets. This set of seals has not been replaced, but I have two sets. All the rest of this has been. All this weather strip is new. I mean, new a year ago, maybe. Uh, the seat's been reupholstered. It's vinyl, not leather. Uh, you can't see anything on this rubber floor. The floor is rubber mat with Dynamat, two different kinds. Some of the chrome is new, some of it is old. The vintage air works. Original mirror, new visors, new dome light on a switch. Moving along. Like I said, the trim is there. There's no radio, so there's no antenna. Put a new windshield in it. All the other glasses, the glass that was in it when I got it. The There's the front bed line. That's where it's been shortened. The paint is not street rod paint, but it is paint. Uh, it will come with five 15s and four 20s. The hood is dented here in the peak and the fender is dented here in the front. The artistry of a previous owner, they welded in a grill that is up there and then they torched it out with a plasma or something and this is what they left me. But because I don't want to replace the fender I have left it all repop, reproduction, grill, trim, signals, bumper to get it looking like a regular pickup again. Uh, bottom of the hood is an uninsulated bottom of the hood. 5.3 4L60E. Um, I don't know how old the 5.3 is. It was not rusty and still painted nice and black, which is not common for up here and probably every day for everybody else. LS1 coils to fit under these coil covers. I get a lot of people ask about that. ICT billet accessory drive. It's truck style and truck dimension, just not big cast. Vintage air compressor, all the lines are ran in this DEI heat shrink stuff to kind of class it up. All the wiring is as hidden as I can make it. Uh, here's some rust in the truck, which you can see under the battery in this corner. People ask me how much rust is on it. Well, it's got this much rust. So that's what we're looking at in there. Uh, Non-power disc brakes and drum brakes in the rear. I've never had an issue with it. You could put a booster on it. I just don't find the issue. Uh, braided hoses with AN fittings for the radiator and uh, and the fuel lines. Here's a metal or aluminum fuel line coming up from around the exhaust to the frame and it goes to a rubber hose to the back of the rail. 39 pound fast injectors with little aluminum adapters. Uh, my brother made the intake tube. It has a Holly sniper throttle body, low car cable. Uh, Champion four core dual pass radiator with dual fans. The relays are down here under the air cleaner. 
your weatherproof summit ones. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run out of flashlight here, so you're gonna get hung up. And it's very similar down this side. The left headlight is also chopped out. I never would have got away with that if it wasn't black. The fender, this shines up nice. I accidentally buffed off a lot of the old junkyard letters, which is a shame. It's very similar paint. Not nice, but it is paint. When I got it, pretty much everything forward had rattle flat black Krylon on it, and I tried to get it off without taking the rest of the paint, and I was not completely successful. Um, here's a little goober. It is, I can't say it enough, not a show truck. I forgot to show you, but the rocker on the other side has got a mark in it. Here's the bedside. Here we are again with the interior uh, from the driver's side, classic instruments, uh, nice gauges, 6,600 miles. Shit, I hope this video works. Uh, Phytech EFI. air is all behind the glove box if you want to screenshot the RPO codes I don't know if it matters some people it does oh there's that the description the serial number in the glove box is the same as on the cab and on the frame Maybe some better light on the door panels. Like I said, all the weather track, the stripping, the regulator has been replaced. This is not a replaced window. This is not replaced weather strip. Of course, there's a new seal on the windshield. Not a new seal on the back window, but I have it. Um, this is just here to not have to weld that up. I don't know if you can see back in there or not. You don't look like it. So yeah, it's pretty consistent, I think. It is not a race car, it is not a show car. From up underneath, there's twice pipes, one on each side. There's the other rust, or maybe a puncture that became rust or something the beauty that was left for me and I did nothing with the fender swales. I raised the bed floor five inches to clear this notch. And um, so I can have a flat wood floor, I never got around to the wood floor part. This could be cut out in an hour with an angle grinder if you chose to. The aluminum fuel tank, inline filter, uh, inline pump, uh, check valve rollover and a check valve for the supply line to a basically a sump because the tank was supposed to be baffled and it was inadequately baffled and I would starve making right turns. So that was what I came up with instead of cutting the tank apart. My brother is a professional welder and TIG welded all the exhaust. I have some pictures of that before it went in. Um, and here we are back where we started. I hope this works because I will be very annoyed if it doesn't.